Hey there, today we are going to talk about Away Luggage. I have one of each of the sizes. I also have their standard polycarbonate, which is plastic, and their aluminum luggage, and I've used all of them all over the world, and so I wanna share my experience with them if you're shopping them so you can try and pick the right bag for you, because I still get a lot of questions about Away. I've done several videos on the channel if you wanna go back and see those. I've been traveling with them basically since they launched four years ago. So of course I'll put a link down in the description. Go ahead and use that to check out the collection, and let's go over what they have and my experience traveling with each of them. As of shooting this video at the end of 2019, their collection looks like this. They have their standard flagship products, their regular carry-on starts at 225, 245 for the bigger, 275 for the medium, 295 for the largest one in polycarbonate. There's a really interesting one, the daily carry-on with pocket at 245. We'll talk about that later. And then they also, you know, they have these ones with a pocket, and they're really interesting. They have the expandable one. And then they have the aluminum line. So the same carry-on at 475 for the standard, 495 for the bigger, 575 for the medium, and 595 for the large. So your decision making is pretty simple here. Do you want a carry-on or do you want a check bag? The carry-ons both have batteries built in, the check bags do not because as I talked about in my previous TSA video, you cannot put a lithium ion battery underneath the plane. You have to keep that stuff plane side. They also want you to have it out of the overhead compartment in a way has a toaster mechanism on the battery, which makes it really easy to take out. They redesigned it from before, so they're staying ahead of the trend there. So when you're looking between the carry-ons, as I've talked about in the past, there really has been zero issue for me traveling with the bigger carry-on versus the smaller carry-on. And that's my own personal experience traveling domestically in the States, in Canada, and then in Europe. I can't speak to Asia, but basically all of the places I've gone across Europe and the States and Canada, the bigger carry-on has been absolutely fine for carrying on. And so it is nice to have the extra space if that is what you are looking for in a carry-on, which is also why they made an expandable one because people like to shove stuff in their bags. I love the interior design of the Away bags. They have a compression compartment, which does help squeeze things down. But if you're trying to decide between the bigger and the standard carry-on, I see very little benefit going with the smaller one other than the fact that you can't fit as much in it and it will end up being a little bit lighter. And if you're looking between the polycarbonate, the plastic one, and the aluminum one, I really like the aluminum one. I did a video specifically on the aluminum one and it's it's a really sweet bag. If you compare it, so yes, 200 to $400 is a big jump when you look between the two, but if you look at a Waze bags in the context of other aluminum luggage, it's a, it's a very good deal. And the slight tweaks that they did on those bags and the aluminum bags where they have latches and a water, I don't think they call it waterproof, a water resistant seal around the aluminum casing is a really nice design touch and something that I really prefer. That's why I end up getting the medium in aluminum, not getting the aluminum in the polycarbonate. And you know, cause the zipper on the standard one, if it is raining, like water will get into the zipper. And if it's really bad, like one time I, I was caught in a really bad storm, water will get in there. And so if you're looking between the two, like. If you travel a lot and you want the best tool for the job, I think an aluminum one is really nice. It's actually not that much heavier than the plastic ones, and so even when you fill it up, it's really good, but it's also super sturdy. You also have to be aware that either one will get its blemishes and its scuffs and scratches and everything. The aluminum one really does, and so, they even have a card in the in the bag when you first get it that says, you know, every scuff, scratch, and dent gives it a little bit more character or something like that. And it's true, like I have the regular size carry-on in aluminum and I've dinged it up, scratched it up. The point though is that it keeps things protected in the bag really well and it's extremely durable. And they also, instead of having the mesh zipper on the plastic one, they have a really nice clasp mechanism on the aluminum one. It's a little more premium and I really like that. So they took the steps in the aluminum to make it that premium experience, which is what you're paying for. And so if I was choosing, you know, I, I have made this decision multiple times. Like if I was gonna go and grab a new bag, I would get the aluminum uh, in medium. If you want the carry-on size, the aluminum in the carry-on, higher price, going to last a very long time and it has that you know, really great construction and in, in contrast to a Ramoa or some of the Tumi aluminum ones, it's a really good deal for aluminum. So those are my thoughts between the two materials and now talking about the checked and the large one. So either way, if you have a carry-on and you go into a, a small regional jet, you're gonna check either one of those sizes because even the smallest one doesn't fit into that oversized one except for the daily carry with pocket. 
Now, I haven't traveled with that one, but based on the dimensions, that looks like it is the small size that you see a lot of like flight attendants use. And those are small enough to fit in those really small overhead compartments on regional jets. And so if you're worried about always having that bag with you, the daily carry-on could be the one that would fit in there and it's worth looking at at 245. It also has the exterior pocket, which is handy. And so for most people though, I think the bigger carry-on is the one to go with. It has the battery, the compression compartment, it has the four wheel spinners, all that stuff. And then you look at the check bag. So if you're looking between the check bags, I have both and I've traveled with both. The bigger one is massive. It's like really big. If you fill it up with clothes and I mean, I fit two and a half weeks of clothes into that bag, it gets extremely heavy. You have to check it absolutely. And you can end up overstuffing it so that it is higher than most weight limits on airlines, which is about 50 pounds. And what I found after traveling with that one a lot, we have the polycarbonate version of the big one, is I wanted something between the bigger carry-on and the big one. And I did want that medium size. And now like going back and doing this all over again, I probably would just get the medium. The big one is like, we have three kids and my wife and I, but we actually end up tending to use like the medium and a carry-on versus having to go with a big one because it's just, it is like truly massive. And so I ended up picking up the medium in aluminum because I like the idea of checking bags from going somewhere for a long, uh, long period of time better than trying to compress everything into a, a carry-on, which I have absolutely done. And so if you're looking between the checked and the bigger, unless you have a really good excuse of why you want the biggest one, I think the medium is the way to go for most people. And, and especially in the polycarbonate, it's not that much more than the bigger carry-on. Now keep in mind with the check bags, as I mentioned, there is no battery in that one. The battery compartment is only on the smaller ones. And also just as a novelty thing, we picked up the kids one. The kids one is super interesting because it is so small and tiny. Like that's where I think it would be really cool to have that daily carry on with pocket. If you are on the road for four and five days a week, like some uh, consultants or, or bankers are. And so the, the, the kids one is funny. Like my son will pack it and, and go on trips and that sort of thing. And I think I used it one time for like an overnight trip. I wanted something small to really fit in there. And then I also have used the other accessories they've built around their luggage, whether it's their weekender bags, their uh, garment, their, they have a suit bag and some packing cubes. Like that stuff's all, it's all really well made. And I love the thoughtful design of away stuff. And whether you're looking at any of the luggage, their four-way spinners, the Hinamoto wheels are really great. The TSA uh, luggage on there, the 10,000 milliamp battery is a really nice bonus. And having that compartment built into there without taking up too much space in the bag is a really nice bonus. So clearly we are an away family. I am an away fan and have been for a long time. I think you can go back and see the original video that I did on them when I first did my first unboxing. But if you're trying to decide between all the sizes, I wanted to have a nice way to show you. Appreciate using my link. That's an affiliate link, so this video is not sponsored. But if you buy through them, I do get a commission that supports the channel so I can make more videos like this because all I wanna do is give you the best information out there. I've also looked at other luggage bags. So if you go back on my channel, I'll try and put a link below to that. Like, I do not think Away is the end all be all best one. It delivers incredible value. But if you're looking for something more specific into suit packing or overnight trips, smaller stuff, I tried to cover as much as I can on here because I just want to give you the best information that I can. And if you have any questions, of course, I'll be down in the comments. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter. And until next time, this is the Cavalier.